first official is close to the punt returner. That'd be anything else uh, officiating wise, uh, anything different? No other major, no other major rule changes. Um, kind of college football as, as, as we expect it to be. All right, Wes, thanks a lot. We'll be coming back to you before the kickoff with the starting lineups and everything. Remind you, Tom, any, uh, Dick, I just, I mean, I'm always looking around at other things. Could you think you could go down to the 30-yard line doing backflips like the cheerleaders? Now, she just went from the goal line to the 30, and, and she was headed right towards West James, and she stopped there just in a moment's notice. Thank goodness for her life. But anyway, we're about 20 minutes exactly right now from kickoff of this football game, and what's going to be a really great tonight at Baysmore Hyder Stadium, and uh, we'll continue to work on things. We think we got them a little better than when we started as far as... Uh, the way it sounded over the radio, at least we hope so. And want to remind you, you're listening to the Cass Perch pregame show and Valdosta State Blazer football on Rock 108. Now, the most famous... ...takes on a little different meaning than it did a number of years ago. Well, the band's uh, finished. Honor Guard's leaving. The coaches for VSU have come onto the field. The coaches are in the press box. All many states ready to come out of their locker room. Uh, boy, there's not much uh, left other than five minutes and 40 seconds on the clock for the kickoff of this football game. Good. From you and I and Wes and everybody out here, we're going to say hi. He is listening. Doug Henderson is in the hospital listening to us right now, and I want you to say something to him as well. With Doug, obviously we wish you're out here. That's and, exactly uh, right. And we hope you'll be out here a little bit later on this season. We're, we won't be home till October, and uh, well, we just uh, say a prayer for you and wish you all the best of luck up there. And uh, we now know the audience is up to four people. My mother, your wife, and my wife had their headsets here. Jared Janot's wife's got her headsets. And now in the hospital, Doug with him. Doug is definitely he's listening. Just, so we we got an audience of five we know, and uh, we hope to do a good job. We hope the Blazers uh, will come away with a win here tonight. The team captains for Valdosta State coming out. Uh, that's, uh, Lee Tarpley won the team captains this year, Tom, Tom, and also Buster Faulkner. And then also number nine, junior wide receiver Tyrone Jordan will be the captains tonight. Blazers in the white pants and their black Jerseys, Albany State Royal Blue Pants, gray jerseys. Nick, you know, you know these guys, these coaches. As long as we've been doing this together, they never—they're not superstitious, no. but they never bring Scott tape. And every time, <laughs> Coach Chris, he comes and gets it from you. Comes the bars at every game, and that's fine with me. I bought two rows this year. That's what we needed 15 times this season. Except you didn't get nine volt batteries. We got about a hundred dollars yeah. worth of others, but not the right one. Waiting for the captains to come out onto the uh, midfield. There, Wes is going to try to go out there with them and get the coin toss as we as we do each and every week. Uh, sometimes it works good, sometimes it don't work so good. And we'll see. Tom, I had a pick up the Blazers being introduced uh, to our left. The defensive starters it looks like for the Blazers coming onto the field first this evening. And we expect uh, big, big things from these guys again this season. Well, we've got a minute here. I want to mention the Internet's not up and running tonight. But uh, if you happen to be listening and maybe you're on the road sometime, hope that Internet will get going. But also, you can uh, access Blazer Sports, Blazer Football across North America by listening to our broadcast of tonight's game on Team Line. If any of our radio listeners are going to be traveling when the Valdosta State Blazers are playing their next game, or if you know a, fi a fan outside of our listening area who would like to hear the games, you can always catch the action live by calling Team Line at 1-800-846-4700. It doesn't matter where you are. As long as you can get to phone, you can get to our broadcast. And you can listen to the games for as little as 10 cents per minute. So dial us up at game time, and we'll be there to give you all the exciting action this season. Again, the number for Valdosta State Blazers is 1-800-846-4700, extension 3169. That's team line. Here come the rest of the Blazers, led by the cheerleaders going through the smoke and led by head coach Chris Hatcher, the captain's on to the field for the coin toss. We're going to be cutting this a little bit closer, so we're going to take our final break here as uh, the coin toss finishes. Let's grab the whip. Valdosta State Blazer Football is on the air. Blazer Football is brought to you by Wendy's Old Fashioned Hamburgers. Eat great, even late. Budweiser and Bud Light, who salutes America. It's wide open Blazer Football. Wide open Blazer Football. <laughs> Valdosta's best rock. Rock 108. Stadium. 
And the Blazers won the toss. They deferred. They'll be kicking off from the east end zone to the west end zone. And back deep for Albany State will be Dontrell Williams and also number eight, whose number I do not have here. So let's see if it's on this other roster. Number eight, Clinton Sanders. Will Rody will kick off for the Blazers. And we're ready to play football tonight. Opening game of the 2003 football season. Ready to let through the kicker approaches. The ball's in the air. We're underway. A kick is going to be fielded at the two-yard line by Dontrell Williams up to the 10 to 15. We hit him, knock him back. He breaks off and tackles, spins outside to the 15 to 20, and we get him down at the 25-yard line. And already some scuffling on the sidelines, I mean on the field, between the big running backs in this shotgun formation. Three on the far side, two on the home side of the field. Blazers that four-man front quickly out here in the flash. Catch is incomplete. There's going to be an incomplete pass. The line judge went off of it, so we'll see what happens. Now they come out shotgun again. They do have one running back, two receivers to the far side, one on the home side of man in motion. Sets now to tight end on the far side. The quarterback gets the snap. His option towards the far side, looking to throw it. We miss him. He's going to revert back, throw it downfield. Got a man wide open, almost intercepted by Elliott Burks. He was being chased by Hobie Holiday, a new name, defensive end, sixth running back to the left side of the quarterback. On fourth down, third down. Listen, they were chasing him. He boys chased his cross. He's rolling far side, throws downfield, caught for the first down. Catch is made by Dontavious Johnson. First down at the 39-yard line. Actually, it's a power eye formation. Put a man in motion. That's a straight eye formation now. Hand off to the tail back up the middle. We hit him at the line of scrimmage, and he gets about two or three. And off the tackle for Valdosta State. Shotgun again. Two receivers each side of the field. They bring a man in motion. Set him at the tight end on the home side of the field. Quarterback, we're blitzing, we're offside, there's a flag, it's an option. We are running down, but the Blazers jumped offside that time. And that'll cost us five yards. It's going to remain in the shotgun with two receivers on the far side of the field. He gets a low snap, look at the left. We chase it out of the pocket, he's got some room, got the first down. And Timmy Thompson breaks it down across the 50 into Blazers territory at the 46-yard line. They can beat him up the Landers. Landers or Anders? Anders, yeah, there you go. First down and 10 for Albany State. They're going to go under center. Now they back off of it again. Three receivers on the home side of the field, one to the far side. Option down the line for that. Keep that we think it right there. Good tackle for him. Off the State tomorrow than that. Dick, and if you notice, Hobie Holiday contained, turned him in, and uh, and got him from loss of a yard, looks like. And the running back on the home side of the field. Quarterback. Harris is going to go under center this time. Then he backs off on second and 11. No score, 12-20 to go in the first quarter. Fast-paced game. we got five on the line of scrimmage field, one on the far side. One running back. We're showing blitz. We drop off. We've got four to line of scrimmage, and we're coming from the corner. Marlon Adams is knocked down. Downfield, throwing, and overthrows everybody. Timmy and Dongo Williams down there, along with Marquise Turner. And it'll be third down. Linebacker Marlon Adams on one side. T. Wilford moves and uh, got that coverage on a receiver, so we got two backs. T. Linebacker, one throw, we take him out of pocket. He's got some room. We knock him down short of the first down, pounded him a little bit. And they're in one of those spots, Tom, but they're going to break the punt team, but uh, Blazer's going to play punts. There's the snap. Here's the punt. Wobbly punt. Everybody's going to get away. Bust or, uh, out on the state wants to avoid it. They're going to kill it on the 17 yard line. Sam Adams back there just waved ever. Eric Wilkes will start the sophomore from Lowndes High School with three receivers on the home side of the field, one on the far side. Bam Adams quickly out in the flats. Catches made by Tyrone. Tyran, uh, excuse me, Tyrone Jordan. He gets to the 20 yard line. Short game picks up two on the home side. Aaron Jenkins on the right side, two receivers far side, and one on the home side. That's Raymond Thomas, a name we're going to call a lot from Cordell. Give it to Aaron inside, and there's nothing there. He gets it to the 20, maybe. Dick, we are we played eight for about Austin State, 10 minutes to go. Three receivers to the far side. Thomas by himself on the home side. Aaron Jenkins to the left of the quarterback. 
Barrett drops back, wants to throw, looking, forced out of the pocket, over the middle, got a catch made by Thomas at the 30, has the first down, Raymond Thomas from Port Hill. A Aaron Jenkins on the right side of the quarterback. Barrett wants to throw out here in the flat, Thomas at the 30, hit immediately, gets about a yard gain, and they're still wrestling to the ground. Now in the shotgun still, two rec uh, receiver on each side of the field. Have one in the slot, wants to throw, looking over the middle. Catch is made by Thomas, a good catch. Right there, just short of the 40, there's a late flag. And then a little scuffle between Lee Tarpley, one of their guys, Demetrius Ison. there's a late flag. Now we send Jordan to the far side, Thomas to the home side. Zellner lines up as a tight end, we're eye formation, and Barrett is under center. Gives it to the tailback right side. Aaron Jenkins squirms away. Ooh, almost breaks it, gets to about the 41-yard line. See. It's back into the shotgun, Barrett Wilkes. Couple receivers on each side of the field. Barrett looking over the middle. Got a man down there to 40, 35, 30. Down there to 25, 20. They run him out of bounds at about the 17-yard line, Andre Zellner. Nick uh, Barrett. Went back in the pocket, had plenty of in the shotgun with Tarpley on his right side, Jenkins on his left. Got two receivers on the home side of the field. Looking, looking, Barrett, looking, looking, almost got sacked. Looking, throws it towards the end zone, almost caught there by Jordan, but he knocked away. Comes to the home side of the field. Again, two backs. This time, Aaron Jenkins on the right side of his quarterback. Six seconds on the play clock. No score in the first quarter. Aaron up the middle, squirms through, not much there. Not much there at all, maybe got a couple. Third down, seven and a half to go. And back in by himself in the backfield in the shotgun. You got Aaron Jenkins to the left of the quarterback on third and eight. They're showing, they got four down linemen. Barrett looking, 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 looking. Almost get him, he avoids it, he's gonna run. And he's popped and knocked down at the 15 yard line. We'll have to try a field goal. They give, give all the mark, which is not all that bad for a left-footed kicker. Trying to give the Blazers the lead with six and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Snaps good, holds good, kicks up, and no good. And so we'll just keep it uh, right here. Bit, what was it, uh, Wes, could you tell, go off to the left side? From where I was, it looked it was wide left, but because I didn't have a real good angle out of the first quarter. They're going to go quarterback is the one that started the game, Joyner. He's got three guys in an eye. He sends one of them in motion, eye formation, option down the line. He keeps it inside, and we run him down from behind. Jason Cost out there, good speed, but they picks up. He picks up a good yard. There's a, a receiver to each side of the field. Usually they send the tight end in motion out of this. With uh, They go into an eye formation. They do it. He goes in motion to the far side of the field. Joyner handoff inside. Got a little room, but we bring him down. He gets the first down. On um, the tackle there for Valdosta State was how stands. You can see in the students here again is, is encouraging. They're going to go shotgun this time. They've got two backs in there. They're going to have to hurry. They put a man in motion with five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. They snap it at one. Out in the pass is out in the flat. We've got some guys out there and bring it down immediately. Jason Cost and Marquise Turner out there for the Blazers. Second down for Albany State from their own 35-yard line going towards the east end zone. Handoff off the left side. That big offensive line shows our guys are back a little bit, but he only gets two or three yards. Third down for Albany State, third and about six or seven. Four and a half minutes to go in the quarter. Joyner has gone, gone under center this time again with eye formation. Drops back, wants to throw, got it from the right side, and he's down. In there first was Hope, and, and, and completed the blitz. Here's Bam Adams back deep for the Blazers. We've got nine guys close, eight guys on the line of scrimmage and two covering the wide out. There's the snap right up the middle, and we almost block it off the side of his foot. Famous fair catches it at the 40. Wow, how did we miss that one? And that was old Wesley Brown, Tom. He was in there. And Aaron Jenkins has the eye back receivers on each side of the field, tight end on the right side. Zellner lines up as a tight end for the Blazers. Long count for Barrett, first and 10 from our own 40. Toss it to Aaron, coming towards the press box, cuts inside, 45, 50, across the 50 down to the 48, first down for the Blazers. That's what we need to, to get going, is get our running game rusher in the conference. First down for the Blazers, high formation from their 48-yard line. Again, Barrett's under center. 
Toss it again to Aaron coming the same way. Gets outside Aaron to 45, 46, and then they run him down. Which was good. It was close to a late hit there, but uh, maybe he pulled up formation again. Zellner lines up as a tight end again on the right side. Barrett under center gives it up the middle to Aaron. Squirts through across the 40 down to about the 30. Gets the first down at about the 37-yard line. Big 90. First and 10 now from the Rams, 37. They're showing blitz. Barrett's under center again with an eye formation. Show blitz. Toss it to... Jenkins this time cuts outside, 35-30. Jenkins, 25, runs out of bounds up to 24. Another first down for Valdosta State. Uh, Wes, did you try to catch Aaron then, buddy? I, I formation again for the Blazers. The receivers on each side of the field. This is a traditional I formation with their tight end and everything. Air, or excuse me, Tyran Robinson in there. Squirts away, fights across, and gets down to about the 20-yard line. Tyran Robinson seeing his first action of this year. Over here by himself on the home side of the field. Robinson in front, or behind Lee Tarpley. On second down at about seven. Bear Wilkes, long count, under center. Fakes the handoff, wants to throw, over the middle, and this overthrows Jordan. There's a flag, comes in late. And let's see what in the shotgun with. Got a lot for the game, 22 years. Wow. Second and 21 for the Blazers, 2.06 to go in the quarter. Snap to Bear, the high snap, he gets it down, looking to throw over the middle, and it scoot, scoots in there incomplete to Jordan. Mm. Jordan made a nice catch, but uh, that auger's on the far side over there. Maybe get enough to give ourselves a shot at another field goal. Lake Rocks at eight seconds, there's the snap. Looking to throw, looking to throw, and he's sacked. He sacked that big number 50, Walter Curry, a 268-pound junior. One-on-one going, but uh, we lost that battle. Back deep for them is Clinton Rafe. There's the snap. Here's Barnett's punt. A good, good high spiral. And we're going to try to get down there, keep it out of the end zone, but he booted it into the end zone, 55 yards. And they'll take over first and 10 from their own 20-yard line. And quarterback, Ewell Joyner. They got three receivers on our side of the field. They're going to come this way out in the flats. Catch is made and then dropped on the cover. Uh, split the side. Now he's going to come out in coverage here. Ball's on the ground at the 20. The ball's on the ground at the 20. And Albany State fell right on top of it. No TV. Hey, Cajunette. Three receivers.